Ah, there you are. There we go. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. Coincidence? I think not. This is the end. Oh! reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Wow! Received. Mobilizing now. Okay. I am back. Gonna grab some dinner too. Good idea, Rhubarb. Now, I need to play on PlayStation. So, go here. Let's get rid of that. Right. Thank you, Winters. Game on. Oh, I guess I should also switch categories. No longer makers and crafting. Here we go. Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Hopefully the PlayStation won't have too many issues. I know the PC version has had some really nasty stuff going on. Uh, Mandy's been talking about it quite a bit. She had some real issues with the RTX stuff. But um, I hear the PlayStation version's working a bit better. Got some triple cream blue cheese. Well, I mean, Romney... No shame for liking what you like, but it's blue cheese. It's moldy by default. The Witcher 3 does have an extensive crafting system. Could count. <laughs> uh, oh, looks good. Slider until the image is barely visible. That looks pretty barely visible to me game automatically saves your progress. We're going to have to edit the uh, options and stuff for the game as well. I have not had a chance to do that. I see before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his fuzzy. legions into our <laughs> lands, laid siege to everything. every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. This guy's voice is The so gods familiar. allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. 
Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Even Nigh this looks a lot better. Is the time of madness and disdain. Oh, that's so good. Be lucky, I've got the RTX Max with no real issue. Had a bad moment of low frame rate in one conversation, but not sure that's related. Seems unlikely. There's probably something else going on there. Patch 4 highlights. Graphics modes. Explore the continent using two graphical rendering options. Switch between quality modes, top visual fidelity, and the butter smooth 60 FPS of performance mode. So basically, they've given us quality mode and a mode that we're never going to touch ever. Cross progression. Start your journey in one place, then pick it up in another. No portals necessary. Upload your save to the cloud using your GOG.com account, and then load it seamlessly on another platform. That's really heckin' cool, actually. That's really neat. New content. Experience a brand new quest as well as armor, weapons, and alternate outfits inspired by Netflix's The Witcher series, plus discover extra in-game goodies with my rewards. A thank you for supporting our work. Integrated mods. We've fully integrated some incredible community-made mods into the game, including 4K textures and models, highly detailed monsters, and more. Photo mode. Make your adventure one to never forget using photo mode. Capture stunning landscape shots, artsy character portraits, thrilling action scenes, and more. Let your creativity run wild and controls. Enjoy new quality of life improvements. These include dynamic UI customization, faster sign casting, an alternate default camera, as well as other tweaks to provide a smoother, more modernized gameplay experience. On Christmas Blood, Witcher Blood Origin is coming out on Netflix. Will be interesting to see their interpretation of what we just watched. Oh, is that what's going on in that show? That's really cool, Winters. Hey, to make the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt in our future games as good as possible, we'd like to ask your permission to collect. Yes, that's fine. Uh, okay, let's take a look at options. We need... Uh, oh, actually... Uh, that's probably fine. Roller, that's fine. Display, fine. Subtitle. Ooh, no, we want those on. Text, English, audio, English, yes. Excellent. All right, I think everything's good. So, this is my second attempt at a first attempt at playing this game, guys. I tried to stream this a while back, and I did several streams of it. I actually managed to get a reasonable amount of progress made. But eventually, the quality of the stream was just not where it needed to be, and I uh, gave up on it. I eventually abandoned it, and so there's still the vast, vast majority of this immensely huge game that I've never experienced before. And I've been looking for an excuse to start a new playthrough, 
This new next-gen native PS5 version is just the excuse I wanted. So, let's go. Let's see, what are we going to play on? It's meant to show the Witcher world just before and after the events that bring monsters, magic, and humans to the continent. Oh, interesting, Winters. I probably need to finish watching the two seasons we already have of the original Witcher show before I even think about watching the new one, but uh, that'll be cool. Start a new game of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt with any installed expansions included. Game Plus, yeah, let's do Fresh Start. Enjoy a smooth ride through the world. Story and sword, you're happy to be challenged. Blood and broken bones, you're a seasoned, demanding gamer. You're truly insane and loving it. Now, yeah, we'll go story and sword. Tutorials, probably a good idea. Simulate Witcher 2 save. Uh, as a hardcore Witcher fan, Winters, what's your best guess at what this means? Does this skip the stuff with the Chamberlain before you go in for your audience with the Emperor that establishes some of the choices that you're supposed to have made in the previous games? Do you know, have any idea of what's going on here? Anyone's free to answer this. It doesn't have to be Winters. I just know Winters is a big, big fan of the series. Joji, thank you. I appreciate the Googling. Because I know you can make those choices during the course of playing The Witcher 3. I got well past that point. But, um... I, I don't remember having this option in particular before. So I'm trying to think back to the kinds of things that we did in my original playthrough. I don't even know well enough how to describe what it was I was working on. I remember I did the Griffin battle. I did the stuff with Kira. I did the Bloody Baron stuff. Once you reach the Imperial Audience Quest, Geralt will take a bath and will be questioned by General Marvin Voorhees about events that heard in The Witcher 2. First question is about Arian. If you say yes, you spared his life, you'll encounter Arian later on in The Witcher 3. After that, Geralt is asked about how he got out of Flotsam. Here you'll need to choose between Vernon Roche and Eorbeth. Recommended to pick Vernon Roche here as Eorbeth is viewed as a bad guy. Uh, but uh, that's what happens if you do it. So that's what happens if I simulate the Witcher 2 save. What happens if you don't simulate the Witcher 2 save? Because I, I answered those questions, like, like we did that when I originally played through the Witcher 3. I'm more curious about what happens. Like, it's good to know that saying yes means we go through that. I'm very interested in what happens if we don't do it, though. Like, does it just assume values already? Hates non-humans after that girl to disaster we saved. Recommend saving you save Chris at that point. Next you're asked about the fate of uh yeah, pick whichever you like. Yeah. It just starts. This is what it says in the link. Okay. Well. We'll just do it. No, it's fine. It's fine, Choji. I can't actually really easily look at it while I'm streaming, but you're fine to post it.
Yeah, that's how it was before. Like, it's always done that. The original version of Witcher 3 did that. I, I've just never been offered the option, so I'm curious about what happens if you say, no, don't bother doing that. Does it just assume a sort of canonical ending to The Witcher 2, and you're just stuck with whatever that set of options happens to be? I forgot how much of the beginning of this game is cutscenes. I'm sure we'll get to play at some point. Ter Moran, Witcher Keep, thanks for joining. God, how's it going? Yep, this is PS5. You know I don't find that amusing. Yeah, it does look really amazing. Oh, avert your eyes, children. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. <laughs> I didn't really notice so much with Geralt. So, later then. See you later. kind of have a set of events I guess they consider canon. Oh, okay, see, now she looks more like I remember. No, no TOS, Shoji, no TOS. Witcher's allowed 
it's fine. Welcome to the tutorial. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Uh, okay, to disable, go to the options menu. I kind of want them because I played on PC last time. I'm going to have to suffer through playing with controller, but we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Use your Witcher senses. L2. Oh. oh, I forgot one thing. Um, mini map in the upper right corner. Shows your current location, surrounding area. Underneath, you'll find objectives. Okay. Stick with standard casting for now, and maybe we'll try quick casting later. Enemy upscaling? Oh, that's probably leveling. We don't want that. Gwent difficulty level. I solemnly swear there will not be one single hand of Gwent played during this or any other Witcher playthrough that I might engage in. Where are the accessibility options? Me modding characters to be in a permanent state of undress would be TOS? Yes, it would. Well, I guess we're not doing the... Uh, I know the PC version of the game has a colorblind setting. Like, a colorblind friendly setting for the Witcher senses. But I guess we have to go with standard. I don't need the colorblind settings myself. I'm not colorblind. But I know there are a lot of people on Twitch who are. I was going to set it for them. Uh, oh well. Find the key to the bedroom door. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Walk up to them and press X. <clears throat> Face them and press X. Outside menu. just seems like a really weird thing to leave out of an entire version of the game is all. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by the outside menu, Rhubarb. fingering my toiletries. with my complexion. You should know that. <laughs> hey, Gamesy. Like in the menu screen when you open the game, some console games have different settings in-game than if you exit the main menu. I never noticed that, but I guess my console experience is slightly limited anyway. Alright, anyway. I successfully opened the door. 
see if we can get going. Fast asleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. <laughs> John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Okay, I vaguely remember this bit. see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Hey, Nixus, how's it going? No. Oh. Don't like that it's a different button, depending on what you're trying to climb. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out. I said you weren't allowed to do it. <laughs> Run into trouble? Should I turn back and help you? I win. Your legs 
so longer. I'll show you yet. I just need to grow a bit. Oh no, Desimir's got that look. What did you expect? Oh, really, Winters? That's good to know. It was a bit ridiculous, wasn't it? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. It's a game and meant to be fun, yes. You would have said you did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. <laughs> Survived a hundred years of monster think? hunting, Should died from hopping off a rock. The fundamentals or go right to free training? Start with the fundamentals. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Geralt. Witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trades are their swords, one steel for fighting humans and non-humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers also have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly, with simple one-handed gestures making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. Press R3 to select or deselect a target. Oh god. R3, I'm never gonna remember that. You don't have to select the target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on a specific opponent. Any last words? One, two, three. And one. Strong strikes now. Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking. Why the heck are we not using X? Remember. You dodge to one side indicated direction using L and press circle? Oh god. Hey. Roll out of the way. Why would roll be X? I'm gonna be rolling more than I fight. Siri, like see how Geralt coward. holds his sword, its angle. Not bad. Tom Fool! What am I supposed to parry? Fighting a dummy. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Counter-strike! Maybe a storm's coming. Who's next? 
Nice. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with when. Press L1 to open quick access. Select the Quen sign using L and press X to make it active. Siri, Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see what. Come on! Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Not for the Quen sign, I'd be a flame by now. All right, Geralt, come on. Ha! <laughs> he wasn't kidding. Now he's on fire. Ow. Stop showing off, Geralt. Come on. What the blazes are you doing? Activate the Ard sign. That was not Ard. What the? Foolery. Enough. I'm too old for this shit. Oh. Ow. See that, Siri? Ard will knock anyone or. I guess it helps if you use the right control stick. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. <laughs> Walk close and cast your active Ooh. sign at him. Uh, Axie can really m Erden now. Show her, Geralt. Ah. See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Training bomb. R1 and aim one at the highlighted training posts. Die. Ooh. There we go. The combat tutorial is now over. Ooh. Okay. That, I, that's going to take a while for me to remember. The moment I decided to mod this game they announced this edition so I decided to wait for this oh that's fun if you want you can continue training with Vesemir to stop training simply sheath your sword by holding left or right not Fine. your lucky day Enough. continue training at will showed him kid Siri get down here <laughs> a little she devil as soon as she's back we'll set her to polishing all the swords at care more find that helmet Siri Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? That doesn't look good.
I'd forgotten about that. I've long awaited this, and you, White Wolf. Zima, May 1272. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. The Wild Hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. This does look so much better than it did. Holy crap, it's so nice. Look at the detail. And this, I'm not even seeing this in 4K. I mean, it's a 4K monitor, but my capture card is not a 4K capture card. So I'm only seeing this in 1080, and it still looks ridiculously good. Need to head to bed? Have a fantastic night, Tagarung. Thank you for being here. And for all of your help while it was awkward for me to do commands and shoutouts and stuff. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. They must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. <laughs> hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the oh main road. Could be muddled there. I'm not given to huge amounts of photo mode, but damn. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Life on the continent and in the Skellige Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. Yeah, it really is, Winters. It really is. Hang on one moment, though.
did have a redemption early in the stream to raise the desk. So I wanted to make sure I got that in, but I could release it down now at this point. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Breaking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you're not engaged in combat. Of course, when armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Vitality regeneration. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least one hour. Note, while playing Blood on the Broken Blood and Broken Bones and Death March difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. Okay. Access, right. Uh, right to change the bolts used with your crossbow. Okay, interesting. Whoops. Alright, see you later, Roach. Once your stamina is depleted, you won't be able to Ever sprint tell you until about it this regenerates. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. Have your horse come to you, double press L3. We are never going to press L3 twice. Never War's not happen. exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Roach come from? Oh. Ads are in progress, guys. Let me just switch over to, uh... <laughs> switch over to clips real quick. What was that splashing noise? Where has Spunky gone? <laughs> close holy crap how am i not
Watch out for that. <sighs> yep, yeah, um, that that is totally a thing that works in real life, by the way. That's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered underneath a vehicle. Oh. Okay, well. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, folks. I almost missed the fact that uh, we had ads in progress, so now we're going into another combat. Really? Just gonna come back for that thing? Okay. <laughs> nice, Winters. Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. God, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. Use a few crowns. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I have a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Here. Fifty crowns. Generous. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there. Muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Okay. Now, I'm very curious. I didn't really look at the graphics options. No, we don't want performance. We want ray tracing. Come on. I did not buy a PS5 to not have ray tracing. New entry's been added to the bestiary. Uh, okay. Glossary, ah, okay, bestiary. Griffins. Entries in the bestiary provide additional information about monsters, including tips and strategies for how to best fight them. Thank you, Mad. I half eagle, half tomcat, just like on the Lord's Crest, except this one was carrying the dead cow instead of a scepter. Griffin attack witness, name unknown. Griffins were once only found high in the mountains where they would hunt mam marmots and wild goats. When humans encroached on their lands, however, griffins soon discovered a new source of much more plentiful and easier caught prey, cows, sheep, and shepherds. Though still wary of main roads and towns where folk with the means to hire a witcher are like to dwell, these half-eagle, half-wildcat creatures have gone from rarities to often countered pests known throughout the northern realms. Especially hated are the subspecies known as royal griffins and arch griffins. Just noticed the time and I'm going to get some sleep in a fun stream and hope you have a great rest of stream. Thank you so much, Mad. I appreciate the hydrate and the neck stretch and the well wishes. Have a fantastic night yourself.
Thank you. Okay. close to the village strange my thoughts exactly in the forest of the mountains sure but here and near the main road maybe it's the war corpses everywhere the stench of blood burnt flesh drives monsters crazy sometimes men too we need to watch ourselves in white orchard and we should leave as soon as we learn anything Wo song bridge you're nearing a village, don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft and also won't look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked as paper on your map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local happenings. You look at me. Don't tell me about Smith. Mm -hmm. Lad went missing one night. I found a witch that was hunting nearby. Started poking him, asking. Well, um... Then he started twisting and squirming. So wham, bam, they knocked his head off. I so it worked. Okay, let's see what happens here. The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Weaver lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Claude Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But there's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Okay. Looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds. Lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Okay, I'm really glad this happened so early in the playthrough, because I have a clip of that specific moment from my first playthrough. So now I can... I've, I've just sort of done an auto clip on my stream deck and I can directly compare the footage. That's going to be fun. Dialogue marked with a dialogue balloon with X will end the conversation. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. 
And seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Show me what you got behind the counter. Lost sound. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think that was me, Shoji. Sorry to hear you missed a bit of it, though. Buy and sell items using the shop panel. Press X to make a purchase. Uh, Gwent cards. Alchemy ingredients. Food. Mandrake cordial. Delicious. This item cannot be sold. Jennifer's leather. Letter. Okay. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye. So far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Thanks. For everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are okay. they out them I guess we're asking these guys. Give it to their own. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Options marked with a sign will make use of the Axie sign. This sign influences people's mind, causing them to act according to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> Once... Oh, these guys. For what? Let's Factions, go with this one teams, first. Suits, Daunter of Dim. Each suit has its own face card. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries. Dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. I can't get over how nice this looks. No so good. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. 
you seen, Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. <laughs> what do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Okay. Lilac and gooseberries. It really wants me to ask these guys, doesn't it? What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Go back to your books while you still can. Write about the war, what it's really like. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. <laughs> the sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Okay, fair enough. That's a reasonable point. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Okay. Uh, who is left? I could have sworn there was supposed to be some sort of a conflict here. Don't we get into a battle and end up murdering people? We already talked to these guys. I never talked to him, I guess. Be gone. We'll not talk to you. Okay. There. There's someone back here I need to speak with. No.
Can't be up here, right? No, that's not it. Something else you'll be needing. Elf guardian rule to your liking? What's there to like? It is the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that. But they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it round half a year back, when King Foltes was cut down. Now... Now I just want peace. Farewell. Hmm. Who else do I have to talk to? I can't find anybody. All right. Cats and witchers. Well, it is pointing me sort of off in this direction. I guess I'll just talk to Vesemir and we'll get out of here. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. Okay, well, can't talk to them, and we already talked to him. What the hell else is there? Ah, uh, maybe it's Done here. drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. someone else to help three of you don't stand a chance against me well i could fuck you up by myself if i had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind actually no not even then chet lesh back off i'll teach this vagrant a lesson man on freak Your ass is mine. <laughs> Come on, come closer. Your game save will automatically save when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits, and countless other dangers. Sorry about the mess. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Oh. See you later, Vesemir. Here, I thought we were done. Okay. I was sure there was something else going on in here. Maybe that's later or a different place or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, we need to head back and talk to the Note Guardians. Even the cat gets agitated when Geralt approaches? Yeah.
Saves created with this version of the game will be incompatible with previous game versions. That's fine. This looks very familiar. Place of power. Should draw from it. Fight proves too difficult, you can flee and live to fight another day. Hold L3 to run during combat. Not today. Eat something to regenerate vitality. Now you can eat your equipped food as you play. To consume the item in the first slot, to consume the item in the second slot, press the... Okay. Currently equipped items. My god, so many pop-ups. Stop it. I think my one complaint about this game is how many freaking tutorial messages there are. I mean, tutorial's a good thing, but come on. Ability point. When you gain a certain number of experience points, you advance to the next level. You gain experience for killing monsters and completing quests. You receive ability points every time you gain a level. Using these points, you can acquire new abilities or improve ones you've already got. Ability groups. Press L to select an ability, develop it by pressing square. Fast attack damage increased by 10%, adrenaline point gain plus 1%. Science, alchemy, general. School, Griffin School, Bear School, Mutagens. I guess I can't do Mutagens yet. Deactivate abilities at any time and activate others in their place. Okay.
this way? Okay, I actually recognize the area from watching Mandy play this the other day. New marker, guarded treasure. They did more damage to me than the frickin' Wraith did. Then again, I guess there were four of them. I guess Geralt doesn't really have a stealth button, does he? That's the one downside to the game. allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. <laughs> to the tower. Go. Okay, tower this way. Please, grief. Oh, who you'll visit me? But Norris will never or? believe it. Ah, out of my way. We must requisition the share of your harvest. Hi, Your Excellency. Craftsmen can craft a variety of items for you for a small fee, of course. Blacksmiths forge weapons, armorers make armor. If you find a crafting diagram, take it to a craftsman of the right type and skill level, have them craft the item for you. I know there is little left in your granaries. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look, see the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier. And... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. 
It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the Griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the Griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I like this guy, he's good. I'll need bait, a specific herb, buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. <laughs> Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mizlov. Thanks. Esun Yakton. Okay. If your current quest has more than one objective, you can choose object which objective is tracked by pressing R3. Alright, guys. I am so happy to be playing this again. It's so good. But, we're now about quarter after four. As much as I would love to keep on going for a good while. This is probably an excellent point at which to leave off. So, let's see if we can't find somebody awesome to raid this evening. Be back tomorrow to do another bag of the construction on uh, the uh, on the ship. And what did I have for tomorrow on the schedule, actually? One moment. Ah, tomorrow's Pillars of Eternity. We're going to continue with some pillars. All right, guys. Right off the bat, I see we have several really excellent options. Greeny is playing Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Always love raiding Greeny. Ultrasaurus is also on. She's playing some SnowRunner. I'll also always love raiding Ultra. So those are my two primary targets, I would think. Itray is playing some Silent Hill 2. Lunady is playing some Fortnite. He with Mandy is also playing The Witcher 3 if you're not tired of Geralt of Rivia just yet. Simcopter is playing FTL faster than light. What if Julia is playing The Sims 4? And that's about it for this evening. So, uh, you know, if you have any particular preference with regards to the gamer or streamer that we go visit, or the stream or the game or whatever, just let me know uh, in chat. And what? We are fortunate to welcome a new lore seeker to the library ranks. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, yeah, so let me just go over the list again real fast here. We are wrapping up the evening. Greeny Trini is on. He is playing some Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. And getting near the end of it as well. Then he'll be going on and playing Siege of Dragonspear for his first time ever. Which is going to be fun. And then he'll go and replay Baldur's Gate 2. Um, let me see. Then... After Greeny, we had Ultrasaurus playing Snowrunner. 
I Train with Silent Hill 2, Luna D with Fortnite, D with Mandy with The Witcher 3, Simcopter with FTL Faster Than Light, and What If Julia with Sims 4. So that's in rough order from fewest viewers to most viewers. So if you guys have any particular preference, just let me know in chat and I'll take that into consideration. And as always, of course, I cannot promise that it will dictate where we go, but I can certainly guarantee that it will influence where we go. My vote is for the Friend of the Library and Trees. Well, that could be either Greeny or Ultra. I'm going to guess you mean Greeny, though. So let me load up his channel. See where we're going. Yeah, okay. He is still actively playing, so why don't we go pay him a visit and see how things are going for him? To get you his link. We're going to go raid Green. Good call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the card emote and the wave emote of the channel. If you are a sub, if you're not a sub, you can use the emotes and which raid in the emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own you'd like to use, or emotes from another Twitch streamer, maybe if Twitch themselves have other emotes that you'd like, just feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's go see how Greeny's doing in his Baldur's Gate playthrough. I know he just finished the DLC, uh, the first DLC, and uh, was approaching the end of the game, so it'll be fun to catch up with him and see what's going on. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow night, like I said, with some more Lego building. Just kick things off, and then we'll do some Pillars of Eternity, which is a very similar style of game to Baldur's Gate. So by going to Greenie's place, you'll have a bit of an idea of uh, what you're in for tomorrow night. Though, you know, Baldur's Gate, it's more than 20 years old at this point. Pillars of Eternity, quite a bit more recent, though. A little more up-to-date, a little more polished, but uh, very intentionally inspired by Baldur's Gate and similar games. So I will get the raid started in just a moment. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Oh, okay. Battle it is. Now we gotta try and murder them really, really fast. Oh, I didn't actually want to murder Liam. Whoa! Oh god. Oh, that does uh, um <laughs> Okay. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. <laughs> This is gonna go great. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My life warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose-intolerant volcano god! Do you know what that means? 